Have you ever wondered if a fighter aircraft could take down a satellite? Well, believe it or not, in 1985, a real F-15 jet did just that. But how exactly was this possible? Well, we're going to recreate this historic mission in Kerbal Space Program 2 and see if we could also pull it off. To get started, we'll build a missile dubbed the ASM-135 ASAT missile. This three-stage missile with a length of 18 feet and almost 60 centimeters in diameter was designed to be launched from a modified F-15 jet. Now, as you can see, my build looks nothing like the real thing. Um, well, anyway, we're close enough. Now, the first two stages are basically rocket powered and the third stage is the homing vehicle. Instead of conventional explosive warheads, our missile will use sheer kinetic force to destroy the target. To hit its target, it was designed to lock onto the target satellite's infrared image with a telescopic seeker. Fancy terms. It would also spin rapidly for stability and correct its course with a total of 63 small rocket fueled motors. We've added RCS thrusters and SAS in our case for some stability and control. I decided to run a missile test to see if everything works. So I set our targets at the local buildings. And boom, <laughs> target destroyed or not. So I tested a few more times and it seemed to be working pretty well. I even launched straight up into the sky, then eventually shifted my angle and aimed at a rover. That was a new target. Although I kept missing, but I figured that we would have more luck in space. Now, our F-15, modified to accommodate the mission, boasts high thrust to weight ratio. This is powerful enough to climb vertically, even with the missile that weighed over one ton. Now, I decided to do a little quick test run again, and it seemed a little heavy on the liftoff and turning, and I remembered that I had yet to empty some fuel tanks that were pretty much there for the actual design, so I removed some fuel at a later point and continued to do some tests. After changing the engines to afterburner mode, the jet accelerated and then I aimed the missile at the building for one last time and boom, it worked flawlessly. Our target is the Solwyn P781 satellite. This was originally launched on the Atlas F ICBM, which is a very, very cool looking rocket compared to what we see nowadays. In game, the target is already pretty much in orbit, ready for us to pay a visit. It was kindly selected as a target due to it having several failed instruments. Originally, there was the idea to launch new satellites to be targeted. However, due to political and technical factors, this was chosen as a target instead. We activated the jet engines and zoomed down the runway to lift off. The F-15 ascended higher and higher with an angle of about 65 degrees. Alright then, here we go, high enough into the atmosphere with a speed just into Mark 1. At 38,100 feet, the missile was ejected and the first stage rocket engine was activated. Similar to the real life images, I captured some very cool still images. After a long burn, the second stage was activated. Then, before deploying the third stage, this was the miniature homing vehicle, it was spun up to around 30 revolutions per second and was aimed at our target. The 64 solid rocket motors around the homing vehicle were used to perform the fine adjustments before intercepting the satellite and the rotation was also dampened. Streaking into space, the missile homed in on the satellite, then with unbelievable precision, impacted the one-ton spacecraft at a hyper velocity of around 15,000 miles per hour or over 24,000 kilometers per hour, which is just insane. Now, shooting down the satellite with an F-15 was a significant military achievement. It showcased the capability of using fighter jets as an anti-satellite weapon. However, the destruction of the satellite raised a lot of awareness around orbital debris problems. Future satellites could potentially face challenges due to the cloud of difficult to track dark debris. Despite this, fighter jet based anti satellite weapons remain a topic of interest worldwide. So, remember, even in space, nothing is safe from war. Thank you for watching.